Welcome Christmas crew and welcome back to the cozy Christmas cottage. Today we're hacking traditional cookie cutters and no, there's not gonna be any baking in this video. But we are gonna keep it budget friendly by using a lot of supplies from Dollar Tree. They even carry their own line of cookie cutters, including this awesome set of a spatula and a cookie cutter, which makes a great gift. If you can't find cookie cutters at Dollar Tree, head to the craft store or Amazon. That's where I found some of mine that you'll see today. Lots of great prices on there and so many fun themes too. If you're looking for a quick and affordable gift idea, this one would be perfect. You wanna grab some of these clear cello bags. Mine are from Walmart, but you can find them at Dollar Tree as well, and they come in different sizes, so make sure they kind of fit the size of your cookie cutter. Then go ahead and fill up the inside of your cookie cutter with some treats. These are a little bit big, I feel like, but I love peppermints. They are very Christmassy, but you could use any kind of candy or whoever you're giving it to, their favorite candy like m and Skittles, even something that looks a little bit more Christmassy. Go ahead, tie up the bag with some cute ribbon or string, trim off the top of the bag, and then you have a perfect little gift. You can pair this with a gift card, a regular card, or it makes just a fun little treat to set on someone's desk for a Christmas surprise. Next, I love these jars from Dollar Tree. They're glass with a metal lid and I use them in my craft room for my crafting supplies, but they're also great to use in the kitchen for baking supplies, specifically here, some Christmas baking supplies. So we're gonna use a little bit of an adhesive. This is an adhesive tape runner. I will make sure to link all the supplies I'm using in today's video down in the description box to make it easy for you to find if you're wanting to recreate any of these projects. And we're using the adhesive to then attach on some ribbon. The ribbon is from Dollar Tree too. Isn't it so, so cute? The red and white just reminded me of a Christmas kitchen, perfect for this baking little gift or decor piece. We're gonna put the lid right back on the jar and attach a little mini cookie cutter to the top using some super glue. So you can find this super glue at Dollar Tree as well. It's my favorite is the gel kind. We're gonna put a couple dots on top there and sit the cookie cutter on top. Make sure to let it sit and dry completely. Now we're gonna add a label onto the front. This is printable vinyl and it's Cricut brand, but you don't have to have a Cricut to use it. So I also created a free printable for you guys if you wanna recreate this. So go to the description box below and click the link. It'll take you over to a file you can download. I sized it so it would scale and fit perfectly on the front of this glass jar. I like the vinyl because it is a little bit more waterproof. So if you have messy hands while you're baking, it's not gonna smear, smudge, or come off. I just attached that right onto the front there. If you want, you can print it on regular paper and Mod Podge or glue it on too. But how cute is this? Just adding some sprinkles in there. Just a cute little addition to our Christmas kitchen. This is a sign that I made last year and created a free printable for. I will make sure to link that down in the description box below, but this is a great way to save money and stay on budget for the holidays is repurposing your old decor and making it new again. So I kept this sign from last year knowing that I would be able to easily pop this out, take the old decor piece out and then replace it with a new one. So I do have a brand new free printable for you as well. This cute gingerbread bakery one. Make sure to check the description box below to a link to all the free printables you can download, cut out and use for your own decor. So whether you're going to be putting it in a frame or you could put this on a piece of scrap wood. Dollar Tree also carries wood blanks that you could use this on. However it matches or fits your decor and how you can use it. I hope you get creative with it. This one I made fit inside that sign just so I could reuse it again. Just pop those little tabs back down and so it would stay in there. So, so cute. And then we're gonna incorporate some of those cookie cutters in here too. So this is a set of three cookie cutters with a cute rolling pin that we're gonna use here shortly. We're gonna use just the cookie cutters for this one. It was a set that came from the Target dollar spot for only $3. Such a great price. I love the cookie cutters. They were in red, white, and green. So that's another tip and trick is you can take plain cookie cutters and even spray paint them different colors if you wanted to. Luckily, these came painted for me already. Ready. I'm using some red and white twine and using some hot glue. Flip that sign to the back and I'm just gonna hang those at different heights to give it some interest and using that hot glue to keep everything in place. 
So I went ahead and added all three of those on there. You can see the long tails are a little bit too long at the top, but that's no big deal. Once your glue has dried and set up, you can go ahead, take some scissors and trim the string at the top off so it's not hanging down. Then you can add this to your Christmas kitchen or if you have a gingerbread theme or a cookie theme, then this would be so, so cute in any place in your home. I love that project and like I said, I didn't want to leave out that cute rolling pin that came in this set So we are gonna decorate this up as well. I found these adorable miniature cookie cutters They say buttons on them at Hobby Lobby. They were $2.99 But 50% off made them only a dollar fifty for that pack. So an amazing deal I thought we could add some of those onto this rolling pin as well So I took some red chalk paint gave the rolling pin just the middle part one coat seemed to do the trick and then let that dry. Now we're going to add a little bit of some decoration on there. This is a vinyl decal, but you can find letter stickers at the craft store and write it out with a chalk marker if you wanted to do it that way. So there's different ways you can add this design on there. Uh, like I said, I'm just using some matte white vinyl for this, centering it on my rolling pin, and then in comes those cute little quote unquote buttons. I don't think they're really buttons. They didn't have holes in them, but little miniature cookie cutters. Again, comes in our Dollar Tree super glue, gel super glue. I love to use this. It works really well. We're going to put a few dabs on the back of our little miniature cookie cutter and put one on each side of our design. I love, love, love the versatility of this piece because you can use it in so many different ways. It would be so cute on a tiered tray in your kitchen for the holidays, maybe tucked in a bowl. Uh, you could put this on the top of a gift, tuck it into a gift basket that has baking supplies in it. Love this project too. Now this one is so quick and easy, mess free. This is a pom-pom garland from the Christmas section at Dollar Tree. This reminded me of a Christmas kitchen as well. So I'm gonna show you how to make a garland really quick and easy, but I'm adding mine to my fireplace, but you add this wherever it would look beautiful in your home. I think this would be so cute on a backsplash in a kitchen too. So we're just taking that pom-pom garland and cutting it down to size so it will fit on some nails that I have in my mantle here. You do wanna make sure it's kind of tight because once we start adding the elements, it is going to start drooping. So if you start with it tight, it won't droop too much. Then we're gonna take our regular size cookie cutters and some red and white baker's twine to tie each one of these cookie cutters onto there. I do like to start in the center and then kind of work my way out to the sides to make sure everything is spaced out evenly. Take some scissors, trim off any extra of that baker's twine and you have of the most quick and easy cute cookie cutter garland that you can put throughout your home. If you're not yet, I would love to have you subscribe and join our Christmas crew here at the Cozy Christmas Cottage. This is a door hanger from Dollar Tree that I thought was pretty cute by itself, but we're gonna dress it up to make it very, very cute with some cookie cutters that would be so cute in your Christmas kitchen. So this had a bow on it already, and so I took that off. It just had some wire, twisted that off there, grabbed a couple different sizes of cookie cutters, and then grabbed this baker's twine, which was also from Dollar Tree, a black and white color, so it matched this little hanger. I think they had different colors of these too, so keep your eye out and pick whichever one fits your style. So we're just using that baker's twine to hang the cookie cutters at different heights and trimming off any of the excess twine. Then go ahead and wire that bow right back on there to cover up any of the knots there that we used for the twine and those bells. I love this because I love the sound of jingle bells at Christmas time and this would be so perfect and matches your kitchen now with those cookie cutters. I did say we are not going to be baking with our cookie cutters today, but we are gonna make some cookie shaped ornaments out of some air dry clay. I found this on Amazon and Dollar Tree does carry air dry clay too, but it's not the best quality. So I would suggest going for a nicer kind like I'm showing you here and I'll link mine down below. You'll also need some cookie cutters obviously and something to poke some holes into our ornaments so they'll hang. You'll want to take your clay, roll it into a ball and then flatten it with a rolling 
drawing pin, I would say a good quarter of an inch thick. Then take your cookie cutters and cut out your cookie shapes. It does help to kind of have a spatula to get these off of your countertop because they will kind of stick. You also wanna make sure that your countertop and your hands are really clean. Since we're using white clay, it tends to take on any kind of specks of dirt and dust and we want these to stay white unless you don't then you can paint these after they're dry so before we let these dry all the way we are going to poke some holes i'm using the end of a paintbrush to do that go ahead let them sit overnight so they get good and dry and then you can add some string or some ribbon on there so they'll hang from your christmas tree I remember making cinnamon dough ornaments when I was younger, and I want to do that this year for my kiddos. You can do the same concept with cinnamon dough instead of air dry clay if you want. It's just a bake kind, so you do have to bake those ornaments, but they smell so, so good. These are so cute and fun though still too. I have some more free printables for you. These are gift tags that are basically add a tag to a gift. It makes it really quick and easy. I had a video on all of these. So if you missed that, I will link that down below and up in the iCards. You can watch that video next. But there is one tag on here that is perfect to add a cookie cutter to. And it's this one that says, in case you are needing a little extra dough this holiday season, you just tie on a cookie cutter, add your tag to some cookie dough. Quick, easy gift idea, also very affordable, and it's kind of funny too, so I love that. Another great gift idea to add a cookie cutter to are some little pre-made gift sets. So these are cookies, or cookie mix you can get from Dollar Tree, grab a mason jar, Dollar Tree has those too. Make sure your jar is good and clean and then just go ahead and put the cookie mix into the jar, put your lid on, and here's a little tip. You're gonna cut out the directions on the backside of the cookie mix so they know how to mix up their cookie dough when it's time. Just fold it in half and then add the ring around your mason jar lid. It will keep that on there for you. Kind of decorates up the top too. Then you can use some ribbon or some string to decorate the top the rim just a quick and easy way to gift wrap this and then you can tie on your cookie cutter if you enjoy counting down the days until Christmas, you'll love the countdown we have going on over on the Cozy Christmas Cottage Instagram page. Not only will we have fun countdown every day until Christmas, but you also find some other DIYs and Christmas inspiration and fun over there. So I'd love to have you. Make sure to check the link down in the description box below. And you can honestly add cookie cutters to a lot of different things, including fudge or this is a brownie mix you can get from Dollar Tree too. Same exact, exact concept. We're just going to dump out the mix into a jar, cut out the directions on the back so we can insert that onto the lid, twist that on, decorate it up, tie on your cookie cutter, and you have a gift that is ready to give. I love, 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 love washi tape. I use it any chance I get, and I found this cute set at Hobby Lobby. However, you can find it on Amazon too, at craft stores, at Walmart, Dollar Tree. Why don't you carry Christmas washi tape? I wish they would. They have like every day kind in their craft section, but I so wish they would carry washi tape for Christmas time. I'm gonna cross my fingers. Maybe we'll find it this year. Keep an eye out for me. If you find it at your Dollar Tree, let me know. We're gonna use some to dress up a couple cookie cutters for Christmas time as ornaments. It's so easy. So this is tape, but it has a low tack to it. So if you add a little bit of hot glue to the ends before you start wrapping, and then after you're done wrapping too, you'll ensure that your washi tape is going to stick all season long and you you can use it year after year and all that we needed to do is wrap it add a little bit of string and twine at the top so we can hang it from the christmas tree hang it from a present all that kind of goodness hang it from a mason jar hang it from a gift basket the sky's the limit here again love these so versatile so quick so easy <laughs> Dollar Tree also has lots of choices when it comes to Jingle Bells. Different colors, different sizes, different shapes. Yep, even ones with these cute snowflakes on the bottom. We're gonna add one to the center of this cookie cutter. Just using a little bit of string, you're gonna put the string 
through the jingle bell and bring your ends together so they meet tie a knot that's going to secure your jingle bell into place then we are going to set that jingle bell right in the center of our cookie cutter because we're going to make it hang in there so we're going to bring one of the strings to the front one in the back go ahead tie a loop so it stays and then you'll tie one more loop at the top so you have a little loop in the middle to hang from your christmas tree So here's what it should look like and then you can go ahead and hang it but again this would be so cute on a gift or make multiples in different cookie cutter shapes so you have a whole set as i mentioned i have so many links down in the description box for you so don't forget to click down there especially to get those free printables and i'll have another christmas diy video popping up on your screen you'll want to click over and watch next thanks so much for watching today and i will see you in the next one happy holidays